And finally, we're going to talk about sociocultural psychology. So basically, how do these social dynamics play up into the highest level of kind of overall cultural dynamics? And so culture in you know, this very emergent phenomenon, and there are uh, very different kinds of cultures around the world, and they, the different kind of belief systems and traditions of these different cultures really do shape uh, individual behavior, individual attitudes for people within these different cultures. And it's kind of striking. You can see this, you know, people who emigrate from one culture to another end up adopting to some extent uh, some of the ideals and, and uh, behaviors of people in the new culture, uh, especially their kids do um, more so than the individuals. And so you can really see, you know, the influence of these kind of cultural effects. And there are many different dimensions along which you can categorize these different cultures, very related to these kinds of personality dimensions and the, and the overall group dynamics. Uh, so we mentioned a little bit about how the U.S. is very high in individualism, focusing on the importance of the individual, the superhero relative to, you know, the society at large, the larger group dynamics. And so this is characteristic of a difference between, for example, the United States and Asia, uh, very different on that individualism dimension. Power distance, so acceptance of kind of this hierarchy. This is low acceptance of those differences in Scandinavia, but in other cultures, relatively high acceptance of these kind of big built-in differences between different people at different levels in the society. Uh, overall tendency for kind of masculine versus feminine kinds of characteristics, uh, avoidance of uncertainty, uh, various kinds of dimensions that you can think about. And so here's just one example in a comparison of the United States versus India. Uh, here you can see this kind of power difference, even though there's a lot of an inequality in the United States these days. Uh, it's much more accepted in the caste system in India traditionally to have these very big differences in across different people at different kind of levels of this of the culture of the society. Uh, here we see this difference in individualism, very high in the United States, uh, lower in India, uh, and then these other dimensions are less differential across these cultures. Uh, we have long-term orientation against that 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 kind of intertemporal choice. Trade-off is another dimension. Uh, versus indulgence. So that really is these two or the intertemporal choice uh, dimensions of how much does the culture favor uh, living in the present versus saving for the future. We can see differences, again, cross-culturally in how people uh, express this self-enhancement uh, goal. So we have this desire for self-enhancement that's common across all people, uh, but it depends on your cultural environment, how you, how you actually manifest that. Uh, so in Westerners, uh, you see a tendency for self-enhancement based on individualistic elements. So emphasizing how unique and special you are as a person. Whereas in more East Asian cultures, uh, people actually uh, seek self-enhancement by em emphasizing how much they work together with their, their, their groups and, and form these kind of strong social uh, uh, networks, etc. And so you can really see differences even in, in how this plays out uh, across different cultures.